want to go back to that breaking news we are following. Dan Carroll, live in the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first. Dan, we also understand that Air Care helicopter on its way to get someone who's been badly hurt there. And that is one thing we're doing in Chopper 9 is keeping an eye out for air care and give them uh, plenty of room for wherever they might land. You can see the firefighters working down there. This is a pickup truck that got into the back of this travel trailer. You see the red SUV up there that was towing this, uh, this uh, the trailer right there. And the pickup truck is almost completely inside the back of that trailer. Firefighters are in the bed of the pickup truck and they're trying to rescue uh, one or more persons. You can see the stretchers on the, uh, the gurneys on the side of the highway, and there goes one person as we watch these, these live pictures here from I-75 just south of Harrison, one person being taken away to a, uh, an ambulance that's parked out here on I-75. So there's obviously some injuries associated with this accident, and these paramedic firefighters keep working uh, quite, uh, quite diligently to uh, perhaps make another rescue of someone who might be trapped inside. As I mentioned during our first hit, I, I cannot remember an accident that uh, has had this many firefighter paramedics on the scene trying to uh, save people and uh, rescue people and obviously save some lives. So I-75 is shut down completely southbound, just south of the Western Hills Viaduct, and we'll keep an eye on this and uh, give you the developments as they happen. I'm Dan Carroll in Chopper 9.